Hi my friends. Today I want to present you a dynamic simulation called gravity experiment. I received this suggestion from my friend Domenico Farina from Italy. Being a professor like me, he wants to physically build an experimental stand for his students, but uh, at the same time he wants to present them also the computer simulation. He asked me a series of questions, but I was very busy and until I answered them, he solved all his problems on his own. See his message on the screen, a victory message. The experimental stand I present to you here is simpler, much simpler than his, being composed of only two pieces, a sphere and a support. Let's see how it works. You see the sphere uh, falls between two edges which are uh, created at an angle so that uh, by gravity only it moves to the right and that's all. We'll create this assembly and I'll show you how to make this dynamic simulation. For the moment let's see how is this construction made. You see this is the end of movement with the, the sphere coming to this end. Only this angle makes the sphere to move to the right and to have a rotation movement as well. Yes, that's all we have to create. Good. Let's start. New standard millimeters. Sketch the plane XY. I start with a line from somewhere here an arc and back to have the tangent okay close this end line is vertical this point is in the center the angle is 15 the midpoint of this line is on the same horizontal with the center point so we have to place two dimensions one is this of 100 millimeters. The other is this radius of uh, 24. Then we apply offset to the outside of 8 millimeters. Fillet of uh, 8 here and also here and 16 outside good finish sketch F6 extrude 
this contour of 120 f6 this is the position now but in an assembly xy is the bottom plane i apply a material steel alloy and i save it as a stand after because stand is at the presented assembly after good then another object which is the sphere very simple the plane XY a circle of 100 diameter a line from up to the bottom a diameter but this is not fixed you see so we have to make it coincident with the center point then trim then center line finish sketch revolve okay this is the sphere and we apply the same material steel alloy but with another aspect my friends what aspect would would oak yes this is the object xy will be the button plane so it will be with the north pole here and south pole there save under the name sphere after after now we create the assembly the assembly is from this template place gravity experiment stand after as grounded at origin you see now xy is at the bottom and place also the sphere after somewhere here now i want to place this somewhere in the space so to be precise because if you place it very correct here if you look from another angle you see that this is not correct so we create an axis of this cylinder and we constrain the sphere with her center in uh, my mind sphere is the woman not the man yes so she the sphere must be on this axis good okay and the distance now all i have is to place the position on the vertical I constrain the center of the sphere at a distance of 50 up from this face yes this is the position okay f6 now we'll go to the dynamic simulation and we don't want 
uh, to have a fixed object here. So I go to the constraints of this uh, object and I place suppress. Now it's free the sphere but I don't move it because I want to use this in the environment dynamic simulation. Good. You see the constraint mate the mate constraint was converted here in a cylindrical constraint joint in fact a joint but it is disabled yes it is not active because we uh, disabled it suppressed it in the uh, in the assembly I'll see here the axis so I go back and I make this not visible okay dynamic simulation now we create some other joints one of them is this one special between the sphere and the face this face with the origin now I have to present an origin this point good the axis X is uh, to the right very well I, I don't select another axis okay now the gravity double click here and we select an edge we don't have an edge but uh, we have this connection between the two faces the other direction okay click on assembly we don't see the, the arrow and now let's try to see what happens it happens bad why because now we have to add another joint of another kind the kind is 3d contact between what between this and now we have to select the second object the second object is the same face okay once again start simulation you see there is a little rotation but uh, a lot of translation here we don't like this yes once again good what to do we edit the contact the 3d contact between the sphere and these two edges where is it here it is double click and we apply a friction here not a great friction but some 0 0.15 is uh, the usual friction coefficient okay we don't uh, change for the moment the stiffness the rigidity we say and the damping we let them as they are okay let's see you see the um, sphere is rotating from the beginning well now we have everything solved if you want to see uh, lights as uh, I had in the in the other presentation which is this you can 
use view you select but not here let me go back I finish simulation I go to the view default lights changing in two lights settings and here I place other values for the first is 24 26 no problem and minus 37 minus 37 very difficult for me minus you see what happens you see here the light is uh, moving on azimuth this is azimuth around the sphere you see you select the place you want I select minus 37 then I go to the light tool which is gray and I change it to white white is the proper color 7 here Seven. This is the height light to minus seven. Not important to be fixed. And azimuth is the other light now to be at minus fifty seven. You see, the other light comes here. 54 save and close yes we have the same illumination now so when I go to environment dynamic simulation and I start the simulation we see something very interesting yes you are free to change all the data to see what happens and to uh, obtain your wanted results as you want. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.